Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's find out together what's coming through for you. Energies for you, the Sun and the Moon, the Lovers and the Fool. Energies for your person, the Hierophant and the Knight of Wands, the Six of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Between you and your person, we have the Two of Wands, Meeting Energies, the Magician and the Nine of Swords, the Four of Wands and the Emperor the Page of Wands and the High Priestess, the Oracle cards, round and round and between words. Guys, we have a major connection on the table, but also a major betrayal on your person's side. Knight of Wands, Seven of Swords. You were in the dark about that moon energy. Then some of you have already found out because of the sun, others of you can find out. It cannot be considered as a pleasant discovery, but it can be real nonetheless. We have the power couple on the table, Hierophant, High Priestess. This can even be a marriage if we follow the four ones. It seems that your person thought they were smart kind of the smartest of the tribe, in reality, they were not, they are not. They put you guys and the connection between the two of you in an extremely difficult position. Now they can regret everything. They can be extremely anxious if we follow the Nine of Swords from their perspective. They would love to have the chance to take their actions back this is not possible. Whatever happened, happened. Now we have to figure out what can happen next. From your perspective instead, the Nine of Swords can be, oh my goodness, what's going on? How can this be possible? Good question. Your person should offer an answer to that question. I am not sure that they can do that. The Six of Wands, guys, is the warrior that comes back from the battle victorious, usually an energy about a positive development. Your person can ask you guys to work things out. The fool can be the opportunity to try again, but it can also become the opportunity for you to move on. Why? Because the connection all of a sudden feels like a nightmare if we follow the moon and your inner happiness, if we follow the sun, can be found elsewhere, away from this person. That's why the between words transition. But this is, or this is going to be, a heart over head decision. And if this is a marriage, there can be a lot at stake. But your person acted in a shallow way, the page of ones. It's like, you can see them now in this way, you can be super quiet. High Priestess. The Emperor is interesting, guys, but this is the energy that will allow you to fulfill the Two of Wands crossroads. Soulful decision for me, there is the word involved in the card. So at the very least, it's an option. And that's why the Fool may point some of you, at least, in a different direction. The connection now is basically running in circles because of what your person did. The vision now can be different between the two of you. And if you were not married, if you are not married, but maybe there were plans for the future about that, those plans can be swept away. And I also want to say that because of the contrast between the sun and the moon, some of you can struggle to understand why your person did what they did, because the connection seems to be a situation that has been good for a meaningful amount of time, and there was no reason for your person to look for troubles. Instead, they did that and they found those troubles. Now we have the consequences to face. What should you focus on in a situation like this one? And guys, I also want to say that some of you can think about the opportunity to forgive your person, especially if the connection is important and if there are roots in the past, but 
What about trust? I mean, the level of trust can be compromised because of what your person did. So uh, you may have to take that into consideration. Two of Cups. There was love. There can still be love. I want to say coming from you guys, your person... Your person played you dirty, they did you wrong, they were unfair. Choose the words that can be the most appropriate ones, guys. The Seven of Swords is the deal breaker. We cannot grow together with a special person, if you ask me, if there is the Seven of Swords in the mix. Wheel of Fortune. Time is ticking. Time is of the essence now. And your person may run out of time because it's like because of what they did the clock is running faster in some sense and your decision may not be in their favor and they can feel that they can feel the urge to save the connection but this can be out of their hands you know star energy the connection was a wish granted I want to say for the two of you, then your person made a poor choice. I want to say it was not a mistake. Let's be real. The Knight of Wands, the Seven of Swords, potential betrayal wasn't a mistake. It was a choice. Your person put the connection with you on the line with that choice. And now, because of that, your decision about what comes next may not smile in favor of your person. Because without trust, honesty, loyalty, accountability, it can be extremely difficult to build strong foundations. That's why some of you maybe. Nine of Swords can struggle to believe what is happening in the connection. What's the obstacle? Almost a jumper. We have the Nine of Cups in the obstacles. No more wish granted. I stand by that consideration. Then your person, guys acted like the men in the Nine of Cups. They thought they were the smartest of the tribe. They wanted to pursue the side connection because they thought it was possible for them to get away with their actions. Then it seems that they did miss a bit and you found out or you can find out. And then the domino starts falling. Ten of Swords in the obstacles. We are not there yet, guys, but this can be more than a thought for some of you. I feel that the betrayal, the third party situation, has played out for a meaningful amount of time. It was not a brief situation. And some of you can be extremely disappointed because of that. Eight of Pentacles, maybe something or someone at work, then you can question the opportunity to still work for this connection. Your person stopped working in favor of the connection with you because they were distracted by someone else. Ten of Cups in the Obstacles, another remarkable energy. Fulfillment of Art and Soul. The Ten of Cups, the Four of Wands, the Two of Cups, the Star, even the Lovers. they can be swept away because of the betrayal of your person. Poor judgment, I want to say, for your person. And for what? A fleeting moment of pleasure with a stranger, let's say. Not good. Let's ask for guidance about this situation. Ace of Pentacles. This can be an apology, guys. I feel that you can get it. But the main thing is that your door can be closed this time. 
and your person may not find you available to work things out after what they did. I also want to say that if there were plans for the future, if we think about a marriage, you can call off those plans because the connection is about to be over for reasons that can be extremely understandable. That's why your person can freak out Nine of Swords and they wish they could take their actions back, but they cannot. And so the magician, as a powerful manifestor, can describe the fact that the vision between the two of you now is different and you can leave this person behind, whether they like it or not. It's not going to be their decision. Seven of Cups. This can be about lies. Lies that your person told you in the recent past. Maybe things that didn't make sense to you. That's why the moon, as an energy about the unknown, can basically leave the stage in order for the sun to come in and the sun can be an energy about clarity. Truly the chance to find out. An unpleasant truth, yes, but then because of that unpleasant truth, some of you can find a different sun moving forward, full energy without this person though. Six of pentacles, one man up, one man down dynamic for me, your person took advantage of you. They thought they were smart. Instead, they were just unfair towards you. Especially if this is like a marriage, you know? So you have been their partner for a meaningful amount of time. This is a deep betrayal, guys. I feel that there cannot be a comeback for your person. They can try. They may not succeed. And you will have an important decision to make. You will have the final word about this connection, but it's not going to be a final word out of ego. It's going to be a final word out of integrity. And your person mistreated you and your decision will take that into consideration as well. My friends, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like, and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.